Hello and welcome to the shit eat edition of Hillbilly DVD. Welcome to the shit eating grin edition of the shit eating movie. This is a today. Sh shit eating party. You're gonna eat shit. We're gonna eat shit. Everyone's eating shit. Everyone's shitting shit. Everyone's swallowing everyone else's shit. Today we're talking about the Tom Six directed nihilistic as fuck horror movie from Germany known as the Human, the Human Centipede. Hundred percent medically accurate. 100% medically accurate. Man, I know everyone's heard of this movie, but if you haven't seen it, you yeah. gotta see it. I, I gotta say, man, I was, a couple years ago, man, I was bored of horror. I could, it was getting old, man. Zombie bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. It, it was all the same. And then finally, out of Germany, mm -hmm. where all good fucking scat porn comes from, we got Obviously. a great horror movie known as The Human Centipede, in quotes, 100% medically accurate, directed by the brilliant fucking Tom Six. This motherfucker's taking it to a level that fucking Uwe Bowl never could. No shit, man, no shit. Dude, we just gotta jump in this plot. The movie starts out opening shot. A truck pulls over on the side of the highway. A hillbilly, a hillbilly German trucker. Yeah. He yeah. jumps out of the cab. This motherfucker jumps out, man. He's ready to fucking squirt his pants. He got a roll of toilet paper. He runs into some bushes. He's shitting up a storm up. Like from the beginning, yeah, man. this movie's all about shit and shit and some is, more man. shit. You just left some fucking brewery or something. Exactly. Some German beer. Next thing you shit. know, yeah, sauerkraut shit. And that's probably what they have with sauerkraut, sauerkraut and beer stein and shit. Yeah. Anyway, there's an evil motherfucker doctor in the, in the woods, and he got a rifle that sh not shoot bullets, but shoot tranquilizer dust. Shoot this motherfucker. Well, oh man, hillbilly trucker scooped up. Amen. Yeah, Next thing you know, we go into the lair of this evil fucking doctor, played by Diedrich Glazer. Great fucking actor, man. Very he kind of looks yeah. like Boris Karloff. Off and shit. Yeah, 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 he does, man. What is this evil doctor up to? Well, he took three, three dogs and he sold the mouths to the assholes and he made a long chain of dogs. And he, and he, he loved that dog. That's the crazy thing. He, he loved it. He loved, loved that dog. He didn't so do much. this shit out of hatred. He did it out of love yeah. and respect for fucking science. He called it the, the Libra Hound. That means yeah. love hound or love yeah. dog. <laughs> and his fuckers were proud of it. And basically, what yeah. happened is the first dog would eat the dog kibble. He was shit. The second dog would eat the shit. And then the shit will go through to that shit system of the fucking dog. I mean, the, the first dog's a lucky dog, obviously. Yeah, because he ate real food. And he, and he just shit. Like, it's painful. He got a mouth, like, stitched to his asshole. But other than that, he's like a normal dog. He's fine. He gets yeah. to eat whatever he wants. Two other dogs eating shit, though. But the ones in, in down the chain are just shitty and shitty. So what happens? This dog dies, unfortunately. He doesn't yeah. survive because maybe the operation was fucked up. Maybe this just ain't a good <laughs> scientific thing to right, do. Right. Like, maybe not at all. It's not meant to be. So... Now we're into the current plan, and it's all fucking with the hillbilly trucker, but he doesn't live. He's something fucks up, so he needs new people. Next thing you know, there's two girls, man. Fucking American tourists. Yeah, right? kind of hot, man. I would do it. They're dirty. Driving but, on this old country road, just yeah, like the truck. They break down. Yeah, Next thing you know, the doctor comes along. Of course, you know what's going to happen. He fucking, you know, he puts the shit over their face. He knocks them he out. He rapes them a couple times. And then, you know, they're in the surgery ward. We need one more person to do the human centipede. Mm. But it's not going to be who you think it's going to be. Not, yeah, not, not, a, not a German trigger. white guy, not an American white girl. No, he gets this uh, Japanese businessman. A Japanese businessman. Where he got him, but he got a Japanese <laughs> businessman. So basically, so. the next step of the thing is he does the operation. He sews all these motherfuckers' faces to their assholes and shit. Actually, the Japanese businessman is in the front. Yeah, how did he get to be the I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. He must have been the favorite of the doctors. <laughs> the fa yeah. <laughs> Again, full circle, what happens is... They get stitched together, like literally the mouse gets stitched to the person in front of the asshole to become a human centipede. So basically, like these people wake up after this operation, man, they realize that they're in horror. But fucking man, you know, a few days they're hungry. The Japanese guy, he has to eat. He, he eats. has to, man. He has to. What happens, what comes, must go. Eventually, he really he got shit. He don't want to do it, man. No, he don't, he don't he's, want he's shit. He's apologizing and shit. And what's cool is, like, obviously, he's, he's a Japanese businessman. Every time he talks to subtitles, it's just amazing how realistic right, right. the movie is. Yeah, this is a real movie, man. Man, and it, it wasn't just shock value, man. I mean, no, like, it wasn't. Like, the writer, director, whoever, took time to, to know how to make it medically accurate. Right, I mean, right. Like, they, they took out their kneecaps because they'd be on their right. knees the whole time. Exactly. They had to make sure they were flexible when they hit their knees. They did something with their jaws. Yeah. Uh, cut, cut their jaws. Yeah, their, so it their cheeks your, up. Yeah, so, like the so, joker. So, so, like, so, like, yeah. So, say say this is the asshole and this is the mouth. Well, I would say a, a mouth don't go in asshole. So, he had to cut it so that it could get flush yeah, with so the you, asshole. You cut the cheeks yeah. up so they would, like, fit perfectly. Yeah, flush with the flexible. asshole. So, yeah. whatever comes out of the asshole goes straight in the mouth. No choice about it. They got sutures and yeah. shit. 
So, I mean, everybody who loves horror wants to see a movie about a human centipede, but this is unique because it's not just shock value. This is so uh, hardcore. Yeah, like, after a few days of eating the joke, he, and he's ashamed, man. He don't want to do it. Right, right. But he's got a shit, man, so he shits into the mouth of the girl behind him. She eats the shit in his horror. This is the most horrific thing I've ever seen in a mainstream, like, whatever, series. Yeah. Like, like not like the snuff videos we find on the internet and shit, but, the, you know, a good movie and shit. Yeah. It was horrific, man. And I gotta say, and then, of course, it comes down to chain. That girl has to shit the shit out. Right, and then, right, unfortunately, right. the third girl, that's probably the worst. If you're going to be in a human be you want to be in the front. If you can't be in the front, it's be bad enough. Middle, to be, though, yeah. Yeah. But when you're in the back, you're eating the shit of shit of digestive shit. I don't know. I, I don't really know the so scientific hard, so whatever hard, yet. Yeah. But um, without giving too much away, i um, not going to say it's a happy ending. But uh, we, you know, we said it was realistic. Some things kind of went wrong a little bit with with the operation. Yeah, it starts to get some affection. With only one shit. person, because obviously, yeah. obviously, you have open sores and some feces again. That's a, that's going to get infected. I mean, well. I mean, like e even if you cut your arm and have you have stitches, there's always a risk of some, you know, some kind of well, infection or whatever. Well, you know, well so exactly. if you always. have a little cut on your arm and then I shit onto your arm, like some bad <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So there's always going to be some complications and, and whatever. Man. So we ain't going to spoil it and shit because this is a franchise that's going on and on. There, there may Part I hope two. So, yeah. They're working on part three, so nice. we ain't gonna spoil it. But obviously, it comes into play that the people in the human centipede they want to do some kind of escape. They want to get away from this crazy ass doctor. Obviously, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Point blank, what was great when I was tired of horror, especially PG thirteen horror, this lame oh, shit comes man. out. It is not only a movie that's hardcore and shit, but I gotta give this motherfucker credit. He came up with a fate in a horror movie that was actually worse than death. Worse than that. Worse than death. Worse than death. Yeah, man. And because horror movies, motherfucker, jump out with a knife, he stabs you. Okay, it sucks you got stabbed up and you was terrified for like three seconds, but you're dead. Like, you ain't got nothing to worry about. And you ain't got to pay no taxes. Yeah. You ain't got to go to work. You're <laughs> exactly. dead. Exactly. But this if you're a... alive and you're eating shit, especially shit of shit. I know, man. True horror. True horror. But... And without the use of any CGI or swirly smoke or exactly. ghosts or anything like yeah. that. I mean, just good makeup and shit. The movie, like I said, just breaking, to me, breaking new ground in the horror field and shit. I loved it, man. I was yeah. scared on the edge of my seat. Dude. Like, all the scary bullshit never gets to me this movie made me feel uncomfortable and upset and shit no yeah man no shit you can have like fucking ghosts pop out and cats but who jump cares? and fucking cares? Cares? you like, oh, oh, oh. no this was riveting this is riveting horror man this it, is like holy if, shit. if you wake up with your mouth sewed to the ass you're gonna be scared of shit i love it man one of the greatest horror movies of the last 10 years in my Agreed. opinion Agreed. i love it dude Agreed. nine out of ten I, I i cannot give it a better rating than that nine definitely not yeah absolutely man picture and sound bullshit picture and sound i saw this theatrically and then like i saw the blu-ray so i have a good like judgment of like what this movie looks like. But we're going to be going over the Blu ray, of course, exactly. today. This movie shot on digital video. It's very clean. It's very clear. No film grain. You know, modern movies, how they are. So, yeah. it, very great picture, man. Like, very fucking clean and clear and shit. Fucking sound. It was good. But, I mean, it's just, it, I mean, it's a dialogue movie. And shit. There ain't a lot of big action scenes, explosions, nothing. It's just more dialogue and people screaming and shit. It was good. It was adequate. But the picture being so crystal clear and shit, man, it, it was a real winner of a disc, I thought. So, Picture and sound, I don't gotta give this motherfucker a good eat shit motherfucker. <laughs> good so solid 8 out of 10. I mean, I didn't see the Blu ray, but I, I mean, I agree with you. Who cares a fuck about sound? It's a dialogue movie. But, it's so clean. But it's clear. The, 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 the picture's fine. I'm not gonna disagree. I'll fucking say 8, 2, 1, eight out of 10. Really, for a movie like this, the picture's what you want. The picture, exactly. and, and it delivers. So. It delivers, man. You wanna see every little. 1080p full detail of the shit going on. Every face. little stitch and pock yeah. mark of his face. If somebody got a piece of shit in between their teeth, you want to see You want to see that shit. You want to smell that shit, man. Special features, they got a bunch, but this being a foreign movie, sometimes they don't have access to all the shit. So sometimes they got to stretch a little bit and come up with some bullshit special features. So we got the trailer, great. We got mm -hmm. a deleted scene. Like, not deleted uh, scenes, one deleted scene. <laughs> one, and who cares? Who gives a fuck? Behind the scenes, it's a little mix match of shit. Director interview, that's great. Whatever, we get a little more. Casting tapes, I really don't care who I auditioned for this bullshit, really. No, man. Foley session, this is what I'm saying when they're straight. Who cares how they made the sound of the shit going in the mouth? Who cares? Who fucks? I know, man. It's like <laughs> you're gonna give us some Academy Award to, to this team, like a husband and wife. We like do this for a living. Know. Like step on broken <laughs> glass and like like take it like a rotten carrot and mess mess it with their hands. Like this is what it's trying like to figure out how shit. shit rolling out of assholes. It's, it's, like, it's like you know we're cinephiles, but we're not that cinephile. We're not. We don't, we, we don't want to know cinema. every detail. No. Alternate posters. That's kind of cool. You see around the world what they did, but it, I mean whatever. Director commentary, this is where they're going to score some points. Only way they're going to score points, Because this motherfucker yeah. in his German broken accent, shit, he's going to tell you, like... <laughs> and he does it in English. Yeah, he 
yeah, he does it in English. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like broken accent shit. You're gonna find out some shit about how crazy this motherfucker this really is. This movie I made I because I wanted to see people eat the shit, shit of the other so, yeah. people's yeah. special features. I'm gonna give it six out of ten. Man, yeah. I I'll, I'll give I'll give it a six point five. I think I, th I think it's pretty cool that you have the commentary and the guy actually can speak English somewhat. So I'll give it a six and a half. So that's it for Human Centipede. Shocking movie. People when they just heard the premise, they couldn't believe it was coming out. Well, it came out, and, and not only did it come out, it wasn't a schlocky piece of shit. It was a good fucking movie. I love it, man. I can't get, exactly. Man. I can't get enough of it. The sequels. I'll jump on the sequels. But as you know, in horror franchise, nothing better than original. So check out the original, motherfuckers. I am in. America, drink up, and don't eat shit. Don't take shit from anybody, especially in your mouth. Right. I want that shit even green off your face.